Okay, so why are bones different uh, in uh, Blender when you are in pose mode and object mode? So let's go to object mode on this bone, and if I hit Z on the keyboard, I'll go G and Z. Now it's going to move on the Z axis, right? This is in object mode. And then if I hit G and Y, and it's going to move along the Y axis, and we're getting feedback there. All right, so. Um, the reason that this is the case is because there's a difference between the local coordinates of a bone and the global coordinates of a bone. And the local coordinates of a bone always have to be so that the, the, the depth on the bone is the same with other applications where um, depth is actually, the Z is actually aligned with our Y. So in other applications that use bones, and you're going to bring stuff in with FBX, you're going to export other other uh, to other programs, you're going to bring in animation, mocap, and stuff like that. This is my theory, is that the bone itself has to be rotated uh, when you're building your rig um, so that the uh, bone is facing down the depth according to other applications, not according to Blender. According to Blender, if you... If you uh, zero wrote the rotation on a camera it shows you that depth in blender is actually on the z but it's from the point of view of the top like that that's the depth in blender it's not the same as other applications so that's why if you grab the camera on the y it's going to go up and down the uh, the y but that's not considered depth in blender not necessarily depth in blender is considered the z right so now for bones we have to flip that around in a practical sense so if we change this to local, right, on the bone, and I'm going to go to uh, pose mode, and now if I, if I go grab Y, it's going to go up and down, and it's going to show on the Y, right? Now, why is that? And that's because we have not aligned the bone to match our Y inside object mode. And, you know, in other words, Blender's Y. It's going up and down its depth, right so that should be z right but it's not it's because they've they've programmed it so that the bones can stay aligned with the um the y when they're going up and down on the depth i'll try to explain this better so now if we grab it on the y we'll see excuse me on the z grab it on the z it's now going to go up and down the y but it's uh but it's being registered on the z now this is in local mode right Okay, so, but now, now it will start to make sense. If we go to um, uh, edit mode and we rotate it on the X, minus 90, now the bone is, the bone's Z in edit mode. Now we have aligned the bone's Z depth with our global um, Y in, in uh, our object mode. Remember that Blender does not think of depth as Y. It thinks of depth as Z. But other applications consider this to be depth. So now we've aligned the bone to match what other applications believe it should be. Okay, which is, I think, for some reason, much more critical when using bones between other apps. So I believe that's why they did this. That's my theory. All right, so now if you're in po local mode and you grab it on the Y, it's going to move along the Y and it's going to give you feedback along the Y. But what's happening here is that you've simply just rotated the Z of the of the bone to match the Y. That's all you did. So now that the Z of the bone is actually uh, sort of automatically aligned along the Y. We've changed that in edit mode here, right? So now if we grab it on the Z, it'll go up and down, and it'll show us up and down, right? If we take change it to global and press G Y, we get the same thing. In other words, it's consistent now if you're in object mode or local mode because now you've hit Y and you're going up and down the Y. The reason, again, is because you sort of hard-coded the, um, the local direction of the bone to be with uh, other applications. So grab it on the Z and, again, it, it feeds back on the Z. And a simple way to fix that is just rotate it by 90 degrees down on the Y, your bone. And now all of this stuff starts to make sense. If you um, rotate it at a more of an oblique angle, like this, um, you will see that the th thing of all bones and all apps, 
you know, at least if there's a bone system, not necessarily joints, but with when you have, with a joint system, you're aligning from one joint to another joint. But for a bone system, like a bone in, in lightweight, for example, the, the, the local, you know, depth of a bone is always going along its axis like this. So you see the same thing here. So even if we're in global and I go grab it on the Y, excuse me, I have to be in local. So if I grab it on the Y in local, now you see the bone is moving up and down its its depth, which which has been automatically calculated to be consistent with the Y of our of our world in Blender, right? So it's going up and down its own Z depth, but it's now been aligned with Y. I hope that makes sense.